Hi, Jeremy. Hey. Please introduce yourself and your film. I'm Jeremy Hirsch. My film is called Actresses. It's a short. And you're going to be the representative of all the short filmmakers today okay. on my blog. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, is this your first time at Sundance it with is, a film? Yeah. Or first time at Sundance for any reason. It must be very exciting for you, yes? Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. Do you remember the day that you got the letters or the email saying you're in? It was a, I do. It was a phone call. I was on a first date and um, I got the phone call and I was much more interested in Dilcia who called me than I was in the person I was on the date with. <laughs> yeah. That must make you a filmmaker. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. That and what's first. it been like for you being here in Park City for the first time? And how have you been treated by the Sundance people? They're so well. They're, I mean, they're amazing and it's like, there's so much craziness going on. There's so many moving parts and they, they just do a great job of like making you feel welcome and, and, and like you're assigned a person, which mine, for the shorts in the U.S., it's Meredith Finch, um, who's like amazing and just, yeah, made, made me feel really taken care of the whole time. Um, um, yeah, it's just there's a lot. It's like you're doing back to back stuff, so it's tiring, but it's really fun. Your film is called Actresses. Uh huh. How long is it? It's 11 minutes. And how long was it before you edited it? For a whole year? What do you mean? Well, like, how much footage did you see? We shot a lot. I mean, we did, I, we shot it intentionally in a way where I wanted to get a lot of takes. We, most of the scenes in it are just one shot. Um, so we were, you know, able to just kind of set things up and then we could do like, you know, 10 to 20 takes, which my actors, that was really mm -hmm. hard for them. Um, so we had a lot of footage, um, but it didn't, like my last short, um, we, which was my the first short I made, um, we, you know, we had our like first version of the film and then we were like chipping away and, you know, cutting things out here and there. But like from the assembly of this to the final cut, it, it went down a little bit, but really not, not much at all. Like, there weren't any scenes we cut. There weren't. There were just little kind of beginnings and endings of scenes we cut. But for the most part, um, there, it, there wasn't a lot of like shaving in the editing. And are you in school, or where did you learn how to make film? I went to NYU for my undergrad, okay. um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I finished that um, about two years ago, and I'm no longer in, in school now. Yeah. And you've got a film at Sundance. I mean, that's just thrilling. Right? Yeah, I'm thrilled. It, it, the, John Cooper talked about um, when he was introducing uh, uh, Jenny Olsen's film, uh, Paris is Burning, about how in 1989, uh, when he first came to Sundance, he was the only gay person here. And he went to the IFP market, and I, I put this up online, you can watch it, it's very moving. He went to the IFP market, and they pushed him in to see Paris is Burning because he was gay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, Sundance is, is uh, since that time, has many, John Cooper being the example of not right. being the executive director. Now there's uh, only one straight person who works there. Right? <laughs> Trevor. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but how does it, you know, you come from a generation very much unlike mine, which is just being gay, if, that's, if you identify that way, uh, I do. is not, a, not the big deal in a way that it might have been for Jenny when she came here in 1989. But this still is a big deal, isn't uh -huh. it? So talk a little bit about that. Well, I think that... Um the where we're at now is um, is wanting um, to just to not to not, yeah wanting to not I think we we still are in a, a, a phase where sometimes we feel like we're seen as like a gay filmmaker like a gay person first and a filmmaker second or I think just when I was in college like I think a lot of people in general gay people queer people you know LGBT people um, were they were really really focused on being defined by something else other than being gay. So this kind of a version of that label became, to me, a central part of a lot of people's identity. So for me, it's like my reaction to that has been like, no, I do want it to be a part, a big part, big part of my identity, and it is. Um, 
and um, but it's not the only thing and so how to kind of balance that so this film is a, it's a film um, where it's about gay people um, and uh, but it's not um, the sexuality is, an, is not a theme in it and it, it's it's not like the thing I set out to do when I wrote this but I, I, I have wanted to to write things that are like that because you know when when you that, again showing the other facets um, of gay people besides the fact that they're gay. Um, but then I also do I, I have written things and I and I want to write things where it is a major theme. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Have you seen I, I Am Michael? I have not. I'm going tomorrow. Woo. I can't wait. We'll talk about that okay, after. Great. Uh, one of the, I was I just wrote a piece about uh, the director of Selma and Liz Garbus is uh, who did the no, did the um, the opening night documentary about Nina Simone. Right. I just went blank for a moment. It's a beautiful film. But that when women make films, it is different. You know, as much as it's denied and people want to say, oh no, it doesn't, gender doesn't matter. I th for me, it does matter because they see the world through a, a woman's eyes. And I think a gay person also sees the world through his or her experience as a gay or lesbian person. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I'm hoping that we get to the other side of this, oh no, I'm not that, I'm right. not that. You right. know? Just to you know, each of us brings, or, well, I should say each of us, what question I have to you, there's something special about who you are. And, as, and if you're gonna be authentic as a filmmaker, don't you have to be that person? Yeah. I mean, I mean you're not all the same. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, I think a lot of filmmakers, their, their reaction, their, their way of trying to not be defined by it is making films that are not about queer people. Um, and that's not something... I'm, I'm, I'm really mostly interested in making films about queer people. Um, and, um, I, yeah, I feel like we, we're at a place now where, with representation, we, in terms of representation, we, um, it's not, it's really not, what, what we, there are a lot of movies about gay white men and a lot of TV shows and stuff, like, we see that. Um, there's not a lot of a spectrum of, of... The diversity of who we are? Yeah. Um... And um, and there's also I think a, like the, the those characters um, tend to be um, like overly likable often or like they're like a martyr or, like but they're kind of perfect there's something about them and to me that's not interesting to watch um, so I really want to make stuff that's and I've intended with this film and my last one to to make stuff where the, the gay people are as flawed and you know ugly. as human as other people right exactly <laughs> yeah and um, yeah and I mean like in terms of like what it, directing and what I, I mean my producer was talking about like how I really agree with this like how um, we all have you know male and female energies and um, certainly on my sets like not I, enough people read young <laughs> right right, right. <laughs> um, on my sets like it's really important to me that there there's a there is like a kind of even balance in terms of the different the people on the set like it's not just a bunch of like dudes um, and uh, yeah I mean I certainly I feel like when I think of like channel, cha channeling the like female parts of me, like to me that's about. I mean, maybe this is this is probably like a like condescending or whatever, but I, I I feel like the female part of me is like a better listener and and um, a calmer person. Uh, and yeah. Those are certainly yeah. The, the two most important things yeah. I think I think to be as a director. So, um, is there is there a feature bubbling somewhere within you? There definitely, yeah. There's uh, there's a feature script that I'm working on right now. It's kind of too early to talk about, but it's okay. it's about, yeah, a, a sort of um, flawed queer people. Oh, well, we better go inside before we both get yeah, pneumonia. it's cold. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you can go that way. I'm gonna go this way because I'm, I'm actually gonna leave and go see you. Okay, nice to see you.